Hi guys, it's Monday. I know I've not been really good with these vlogs, but you know what? I'm going to keep a long story short. Uh, I was at Asylum 11 this weekend, the uh, Supernatural convention. Absolutely amazing time. Um, as you can see, I've not actually recovered yet. I think I was up to about 5.30 in the morning drinking last night with some of the uh, staff members. Absolutely everyone on there is incredible, apart from some people, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I was a bit misbehaviour. Why? Misbehaviour? Is that even a term? I misbehaved a bit this weekend. Um, it started in the Travis um, coffee lounge where someone asked um, about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I like the show, but I just need something big to happen. And I said, if he was in it, it would be more enjoyable enjoyable to the point I got booed and a few of my friends said leave the room as a joke but you know still mean and then about an hour later we're at David Ramsey from Arrow um, this panel and he asked people what they thought of um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and I thought you know what I'm not going to be controversial I'm going to shut up that didn't help because someone who shall be remain nameless screamed from the back of the room of 150 people Jamie hates it and as I turn around I see about eight people pointing at me to, so everyone knows who Jamie is and who hates Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and my point was it's not Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. it's more Interns of S.H.I.E.L.D. it's not a Josh Whedon show at the moment because I can't see the character development I don't really love any of the characters apart from Coulson who we're not even sure is Coulson but I'm still going to give the show a chance because it's a superhero property and I love those sort of things. Um, what was I going to say? And also, it's um, this week's episode is the tie-in with the new Thor movie. I know I can't pronounce that. I'm probably going to get a message from one of my friends who says, you still can't pronounce Thor. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, while we were waiting for one of the other panels to come up, uh, there was a Twitter screen, so everyone's tweets would go on the screen, and someone had retweeted one of my tweets saying, I'm being shunned by the whole of the crowd um, because I don't like interns of S.H.I.E.L.D. And uh, my tweet then came up on the screen saying, as the shunning ended, to which loads of people shouted out, no, and another person then tweeted the board saying, I don't think so. And at this point, you would think I would try and redeem myself and stay below the radar, so nothing else happened. Then I did something really, really bad, and I do feel really bad for it. I'm not going to lie, I did apologise immensely. Tyler, if you're watching this again, I don't know if you will, but I do apologise. Um, if anyone's seen my Reading vlog, I mentioned that every year at Reading, if Arsenal are playing on TV, I will leave Reading Festival, go to the nearest pub and watch them because I've been an Arsenal fan all my life, they're a huge part of my life. I'm an idiot, basically. Uh, so um, I decided while Tyler's panel was on, because I didn't want to be rude and leave, I'll be even ruder, well, I didn't mean to be rude, and put the match on my phone between my legs. This wouldn't be an issue if I wasn't sitting on the front row. And when Arsenal scored, I double fist bumped. And he noticed it and went, dude, did you just double fist bump? And I went, yeah. And the girl next to me, who happened to be a Liverpool fan, turned to look at my phone to see they just conceded a goal and said, fuck you. Uh, and everyone thought she swore at Tyler. And I was like, no, 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 no. She swore at me because Arsenal just scored. And I literally wanted to die in my seat. And I literally just kind of put my phone further down my lap and hoped that no one would really, re even though everyone did, everyone was like, Jamie, what are you doing? But yeah, I do feel bad for it and I do apologise again, Tyler, if you watch this, I am very, very sorry. We did talk about it after and I did buy you a Jager bomb and that seemed to make up for it. Hopefully it did. If not, next con you're at, more Jager bombs. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, absolutely great uh, convention. I wasn't really like um, excited for it. Like I was excited to see like my 
supernatural fandom friends and the people that I went I met at Asylum Ten. Absolutely lovely people. But like Mark Pellegrino pulled out and then AJ pulled out and I was just like there's not that many guests. Um I'm not sure if I'm gonna enjoy it as much. I'm gonna try it and I actually loved it. I think I enjoyed it more than Asylum Ten just because of how small it was. Um an out of laughs we had it it was just an incredible experience. I do love con uh, conventions. If you didn't already know that, this is my 11th one this year. Might not even be my last convention of the year because there's the Vampire Ball next weekend, but I'm about 20% going to, and Insurgents 5.5 that I might end up at. I don't know. I'll let people know via social stuff. Um, but yeah, like Chad um, did a. He had. Chad does paranormal ghost adventures type things and he had one of the um, the sound boxes and the uh, white noise thing so you could um, talk to ghosts. I'm a huge skeptic. It's turned into more of a believer because when he used it at one point we did hear something say hello. Because that freaked me out. Like, yeah. it's like, I need to see something to believe it. I know someone's going to say, well you can't see um, the air but you know it's there. But you know. It's, I need to see something, but to hear that, it kind of like sent chivers down my spine. And every time he used that thing, I swear the room got colder. I felt, I felt weird. It was really, really weird. But yeah, uh, what else happened? Um, Travis literally can't do a, a short story. It was actually one of the funniest things. And I think the weekend is summed up into just one phrase of burnt penis. Um, I don't think there was any recorded parts of it, but if you do hear about Burnt Penis, it's one of the funniest stories I've ever heard in my life. And it's not about Channing Tatum, even though for some reason that did pop into my head when they were discussing it. Eh, I don't know. Right, um, this week I'm seeing Fallout Boy at Islington Academy. Cannot wait for that. And I will try to be social, but I've got like the new Batman, the new Call of Duty and the new Assassin's Creed. So if I can fit it all in and work and catch up on two weeks worth of TV shows, I will probably leave the house other than just for Fallout Boy and work. But see you guys soon. Bye.